in not a very long time and in just a handful of curves adjustments we've made quite a dramatic change to this original image so if I just turn all these layers off now we can see what we started with a little while ago I challenged myself to make this bland raw file pop in as few adjustments as possible in Photoshop you just saw the result so let's take a look at how we got there one of the first things that you're going to want to do when you open a photo in Photoshop is get the color balance right and the curves adjustment just happens to be a really great tool for doing that so I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer here and if you're photographing something where there's like a neutral color so this white water through the middle is actually a really good candidate for that what we can do is click on this middle eyedropper here uh, to set the gray point in the image and then what we want to do is click on a color that should be a neutral color so for example this white uh, water running through the middle of the shot here I'll just click around the middle here and that has uh, yeah that has made quite a drastic adjustment so it's warmed the image up quite significantly a quick tip you can actually just keep clicking around the image just to fine-tune that if that first adjustment doesn't quite look right so I think for me that first adjustment was a bit too warm so I just clicked around a couple of times until I got a bit of more of a subtle version of that so here's before and here's after so you know that water through the middle is a lot more inviting as a nice colorful warm sunrise if you want another great way to make your color adjustments is to click this drop down here with the rgb uh, which is the default and then you can actually click into the red channel and then you can just manually adjust this curve up and down so what you would want to do here is you know if, if you know that the image looks a bit too cool then you can come into the red channel and push the reds up a bit to increase the red into the green um, I often find that sunrises come out a bit green so you know I'll now and again reduce the green curve pull that down a bit in this case the uh, the auto adjustment has actually done a pretty good job so I won't fiddle with that too much uh, and then blue uh, we've reduced the amount of blue just by dragging the curve down there so moving on to number two and that is to use the curves adjustments to increase contrast so I'll just add another adjustment layer here and it's quite simple really you can add contrast to your image uh, by creating a simple S shape in this curve that runs through the middle of the properties panel so to do that you can just click once towards the sort of upper third of the curve and then push that point up and then about around about the bottom third you can click and then drag that point down and that is increasing contrast so as I did that I'm not sure if you noticed the image was changing but here's a before and after look at that adjustment when I turn it off and on we can see the contrast has increased in my workflow I tend to build up these kind of adjustments gradually so I'll have many many adjustments each one is quite subtle and is often only applied to a certain area in the image so on the subject of selectively uh, adding contrast to your image you can do that using this curves adjustment by brushing into the layer mask to either brush this effect in or out what we can do just for example um, if we take a black brush and I'll just put that on to 100% opacity on the brush uh, we can just click into the layer mask and then brush into the image here and when we paint black with a black brush into a white layer mask we are essentially masking this adjustment out in those areas where we're brushing and so as I do this here we can see this foreground where I'm just running the brush through at the moment as I do that you'll notice the uh, the contrast is returning back to its original state in those areas where I'm brushing uh, so if I toggle this layer off and not again now we can see this contrast adjustment is only being applied in the top half and middle of the image so that's how you can mask an adjustment out so what you can do if I just add another curves adjustment then you know let's add a bit more contrast so that looks pretty good throughout the rest of the image but down here the shadows are a bit too dark so what we can do is just take that brush that black brush and just remove that effect 
by brushing into the layer mask just in those parts where it's gone a bit too dark. So moving on now to technique or tip number three, and that is to use the curves adjustment layer to adjust the brightness of different parts of your image, kind of using the same idea as what I just showed you there with brushing into the layer mask to remove and add contrast. Let's add a, another curves adjustment layer. And now let's just brighten the image. Okay, so that looks good, but I don't want it that bright everywhere. Let's say I just want that brightness to be applied in the water. So in a situation like this where I want the adjustment to be only applied in a smaller part of the image, what we can do is actually invert this layer mask by on the keyboard we can hold Command or Control and I, and that will invert the layer mask and turn it black, therefore hiding this adjustment entirely. So now to reveal that adjustment, so in other words, to brush this brightness from this curves adjustment into a specific part of the image, we can just take that white brush now and brush into the layer mask. So we'll just reduce the opacity. You usually want to be uh, you know, somewhere around 30% on your brush opacity there just when you're brushing into a layer mask. I just find that that's a nice kind of subtle amount. And so just brushing into the water here just to reveal that effect. And there we go. I've done quite a quick job. It's not the most accurate, but you kind of get the idea. So we can also use that just to brighten the side of this rock a little bit. And maybe if the shadows down here are a little bit too dark, we can do the same. Uh, let's add another curves adjustment. Now I know that these colors in the sky are gonna look really good if I just darken them, but I don't wanna darken the whole image. So let's now just drag the curve adjustment down to darken the sky. And like I said, we don't want this to be applied throughout the whole image. So let's invert the mask again, Command or Control I. Now with that white brush, let's just brush this darkening effect into the sky. So those colors are really starting to pop now. And one final tip that I'll give you for a curves adjustment um, that you can make to really help make your images stand out and that is to use what I call a contrast vignette. So let's add yet another curves adjustment layer. The way that I like to do that using a curves adjustment is to again just darken the image a bit. So we're darkening and then we would you know, normally a vignette would be done by just at this point inverting the layer mask and then brushing with the brush to kind of brush the darkening effect in around the edges. But the slight tweak that I make to this before doing that is actually clicking on this uh, black point down here in the bottom end of the curve. And then just on the keyboard, because uh, it's quite subtle, um, I'm just gonna press the up arrow key maybe four or five times. And what that does, it just gives a really nice effect to the shadows. So it it's hard to describe. You'll have to kind of test it out just to see for yourself the, the kind of effect that it gives, but it, it almost gives it a bit of a matte finish. All right, let's just complete the process. So Command or Control I to invert the mask. Got a black brush and I'm just gonna zoom out so that I can use a really big brush to just sort of subtly come around the edges here to brush this effect in. And I think I would do it a bit more in the foreground than in the sky. And that's a good thing about using a curves adjustment to manually brush any kind of vignette effect in rather than just using a slider that's just gonna create a uniform circle around your image. Um, and yeah, that is that you can brush it exactly where you want it. So if, if we want this effect more in the foreground than in the sky, we can just brush it. And so, you know, really in not a very long time and in just a handful of curves adjustments, we've made quite a dramatic change to this original image. So if I just turn all these layers off now, we can see what we started with. Now, of course, creating the very best landscape photos is about more than just the curves adjustment layer in Photoshop. And that's what I'll be talking about in this next video.